Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and break down the Banshee one shot for 413 for 2023 for those who are budget players or just looking to do a Banshee farm as your main hunts for this year. Now, Banshee does take a little bit of time to set up for, for the one shot, but it is a lot more easier to do than the Wyvern one shot. So I'll try to break down everything I can for you. And you can try to gimmick and copy what I do in this video to do it for yourself. There are some important numbers that you need to know to make sure that you can set this up properly for the speed tuning, but also for the damage numbers for units like Vivian. Everything else will just come, kind of come together and you can replace your damage dealers with whoever you want. As long as they're green and do a lot of damage, they should in theory just work. But this design is to make sure that you can use a double DPS setup for your one shot. So you can technically exchange any of the DPS's I have on the team except for Vivian and Furious. The other two are completely optional as long as they have the damage stats and they are good enough to do Banshee 13 uh, for the damage cap, then you should be okay. So the units that I be will be using on my team are Vivian, Giselle, Yunfin, and Furious. Uh, Furious is a very key part of this run and he's the RNG part of this because one he needs to defense break with his S3 and also on top of that he needs to restrict with the restriction equipment that he, um, his that is available to him these two things must hit otherwise you will not one shot this so there's two chances of 15% that you could fail with so this is more so a 70% chance uh, win condition right um, for his stats uh, everything I can, every speed number that I have, you can technically slow down as long as you keep the gap between Vivian and Furious. Uh, it should be fine as long as their gap is fine for their speed. So you can technically slow down Vivian, but you would have to slow down the rest of your team. So keep that in mind. Uh, she needs to be a very set, a uh, certain set speed above the rest of the team. And that set speed is going to be, look at the math here. So she's 263. And Furious is 171, so if we just take 171 away, uh, you need to be about 90 speed faster on Vivian than the rest of your team, followed by Furious after her. So it doesn't really matter other than that, as long as Vivian is 90 speed faster. Oh, actually, it's not 90. Well, actually, it is 90 speed faster, and you'll be okay because you're going to use her equipment to see our pusher by 15%. So that's the second important thing with this build. Vivian needs to be 90 speed faster than the rest of your team, and then you need to make sure she's on her uh, her S3 mana amplification CR push uh, exclusive equipment, right? She's also on Portrait of Saviors because it's just technically the best way to use her for wave clear. Um, now that that's out of the way, you know how to set up your speed for your, your team, and you know what you need for your equipments, we can go into the actual gear side of things for your damage dealers, okay? So, once again, make sure you have a lot of effectiveness on your Furious, uh, the more the better, and then make them around 170 speed. If you go slower, you can slow down your Vivian, but make sure Vivian is 90 speed faster. So let's get into Vivian first, because she's the most complicated one to set up for this. 
The stats that you see on the left side are the stats you're roughly going to need on your build. For the attack, I would recommend at least 3,500 attack to make sure you clear the wave. The reason why this works for me is because I have Yunfin as a 3%, 3.6% attack imprint for the rest of my team, which is why this works, right? So if you can get a little bit more attack on your Vivian with these substats or with the rest of these stats, you'll be good. For crit chance, I recommend her at 80% because typically you still need to make her make sure that she crits the wave. And then her critical damage, get as close to 300% as possible with 90 speed faster than the rest of your team. Everything else just doesn't really matter. Obviously, if you Mola your S2 up fully, that would be awesome. And also, um, I think that's the only thing that really matters. Just Mola your S2 up all the way. That way it kills. Everything else, it doesn't really matter too much. Right? So you need to make sure you mold this completely. And then make her 90 speed faster with 3,500 attack and as close to 300% critical damage as possible for her to be the wave killer. Now when it comes to your damage dealers, we'll go to um, my my damage dealer that I'm using. Uh, she's not even set up for Banshee on purpose. I just use her because she does a lot of damage. Now for her left side stats, she's got 4,747 attack and then for her critical damage is 3... 135 percent and then she's 168 speed remember you have to stay below the 170 speed marker if you're trying to match my speed that way vivian is 90 speed faster she's on pin and critical damage i could just slap her on a um uh for her artifact like if you wanted to maximize you could slap her on a different artifact like i don't know a uh, hell cutter uh i guess or you could slap her on a uh, daydream joker if you wanted to um, I just use this because I this is she's still built for PvP and she just works in this because she's also built for PvP. So this is just her normal gear. Now for my second, uh, my second damage dealer is going to be Yunfin. Now her stats are also pretty important. Uh, if you can max out her Hellcutter, just to make sure that you guarantee you know kill the kill it. Even with my stats, it does just fine. So she's on an attack stat with some extra spear uh, gear. Um, she's got 4,477 attack, higher the better, and then as close to 300% or critical damage as possible. Now, if you wanted to do a one-shot DPS, you would have to maximize that one unit to make sure that it kills off defense break, right? So, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to get her a lot more damage into her kit. Uh, probably 5,000 plus attack and then over 300% critical damage, plus... Probably on a rage set, I would assume, for her to be her own independent one-shot unit. Uh, exclusive equipment doesn't matter. Set up for PvP. So if I ever used her in PvP, that's why this is or this is on her, right? But you do want to make sure she's on hell, hell cutter and make her as slow as possible. That way she's going last. So ideally, just put her in attack percent boots and just make her as slow as possible. That way uh, she's going last and it gives this time to build up, right? Everything else doesn't matter. Those are the most key uh, things about this um, one shot that you can do. It's just the speed tuning, the damage tuning, and then everything else will just kind of fall in place for your team. Now, if you don't have Giselle or Yunfin, there are other options for damage dealers. We can go and check out uh, other options. I, I have used Bologna in the past. If you do use Bologna, make sure you just max out her S1 whenever you do a run disable her ultimate that way she doesn't use her ultimate and just make her use her s1 um you can also use ram i don't have her in my uh ever built but you can use ram ram is another one that people do use uh she is a re-zero free unit that if you did play for a while you should have where is she at um right here ram is another unit that you can use for this if you are a free play and you've been playing for a while she's another damage dealer option for you and i think there's a few more uh you can pick from but for the most part it's just kind of your standard setup uh if you don't have ram uh you could use green bologna and yunfin those are the most popular ones for this right for the one shot other than that i don't think there's any three star green units you can use uh but that's there are other 
styles of one shots this is just the most budget free because you get a double damage dealer one shot so you can spread out your gear and make sure that you can just follow up with two heavy damage dealers instead of one and the reason why that is because of the furious uh restrict is important to land because this will make it to where the banshee won't separate so that's why the uh banshee won't separate is because when you land the restrict so there you guys go. That's going to be it for this video. That is the Banshee one shot for 2023. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. No, you don't need to use the Song of Stars. This is just because I use them in Wyvern 2 on the same year. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I need to take away from this. It's just make sure you have 90 speed faster Vivian with around these substats. A little bit higher tech, ideally, because I'm benefiting off of the 3.6% uh, damage given from Yinfen. And then make your other damage dealers as high on the damage side as possible. Even if that means slowing them down, that's fine. Uh, I could, in theory, just slow down my Giselle. But this is just the gear that she has. And I could just, in theory, give better gear to Unifin to make her the independent one-shotter if I wanted to. But then you would need your own gear for that and a rage set. Or a very, very cracked destruction set. So there you guys go. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and subscribe and good luck on your Banshee one shot.